Oh, thanks guys. Hello everybody and welcome to Intel Argos for this round 20 of the 2018 Formula One Championship here at the uh, Jose Carlos uh, Autodromo here in Intel Argos, Brazil. Fantastic country, over 50% of the population of South America. Uh, the country covers three different time zones and it is also one of the 77 founding members of United Nations. So, some facts about the circuit itself. Between 2005 and 2009, the drivers and factories decided every single year. But also twice, then Raikkonen, Hamilton, and Jensen Hudson. The Senna S is named after the legendary Ayrton Senna. Uh, the track was interestingly resurfaced back in 2014 as part of a uh, future um, uh, development plan to uh, improve the. Um, Experience and uh, Jose Carlos Basin won his only race at this circuit in 1975 and sadly died in an air crash in 1967. And the circuit is named after him. And what a circuit it is! What a circuit it is! 40 or 15 corners, 2.6 miles, and 36 laps. It's 50 percent full race distance we are covering. And you've got two DRS zones as well, one down the main street and one past turn three. And let's go into the action zone. We've got turn one, one power motor, a fantastic overtaking move on Michael Schumacher in that race back in 2001. And then, of course, the infamous Curva du Sol. That race in 2003, Montoya, Pizzeria, Schumacher, Button, you name the driver, they were more than likely caught up in that infamous race, which had a lot of great interviews in the end of the race. But, but, of course, Young Cal, how can we forget about that? Is that clock going slowly? Yes, it is. The moment that Lewis Hamilton won the World Championship. My goodness me, that Ferrari mechanic not happy about it, and who can blame it? Three tire compounds this weekend. We have got the Super Softs, the Socks, and the Eagles. And so, without further ado, it's time to head over to the race over for the grid. So we've got Sebastian Vettel on pole position uh, for the first time in five races. We've got uh, Callum. We've got uh, Joey Allen in second place alongside him, continuing his streak of uh, top, managing to get his top two streak back on track after a penalty in the last race. We've got Ricardo and Raikkonen rounding up uh, third and fourth position. Fantastic. Verstappen, after a very interesting race in Mexico, last time out in fifth. We've got Hulkenberg in sixth. You've got Esteban Ocon in seventh. Carlos Sainz alongside him in eighth. And rounding up the top ten, you've got the two Haas drivers, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, the classic Nash man of this weekend. And then continuing through the second half of the field, you've got uh, Sergio Perez and Fernando Alonso. You've got Toro Rosso's lining up behind them. You've got Gasly's 13, Hartley 14, and then the Salvas 15th and 16th, followed by Stoffel Van Dorn alongside Lance Stroll. So rocking on the back on the 19th place, and amazingly, uh, Callum in last position after a huge crash in first qualifying yesterday. Now, how the championship works out is if Hamil if Vettel wins, Callum only needs fourth. If Vettel is second, Callum needs eighth. And if Vettel is third, Callum only needs to finish in the points. But regardless, if Vettel doesn't finish on the podium today, then the championship is over for the season. And Mercedes only need seven points for the type for the constructors title today. So we could see both championships decided here today. So uh, we're estimating the super softs will last 11 laps. The softs 15 laps, the mediums 20 laps, five lights. 
and it's lights out, and away we go for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Fantastic start there from Sebastian Vettel, and we've got Joey Allen coming up behind him in fourth place, and PK Callum already making progress up the field, already into 16th place. Going around the outside of Charles Leclerc. He's not going to get the position this time around, but now all he has to do is keep Lars Gore behind him, who is right on his tail. Daniel Ricciardo behind Vettel as well. You've got Reichen in, trying to keep Joy behind him. It's not going to happen this time around. PK Callum managed to gain another place into 15th place. What a start for PK Callum. What a start. Going to give him a huge momentum boost heading into the Heading into this sequence of corners here. We're riding on board with Joey Allen. He's trying to push for another podium finish after such an amazing race in the in Mexico last time out. Coming up for Young Cow. And you've got Vettel leading. Ricardo second. Reichen third. Joey Allen fourth. Verstappen fifth. Magnus uh, Hulkenberg sixth. Ocon, Ocon seventh. Sainz eighth. Grosjean ninth. Perez 10th, Magnussen, Alonso, Gasly, Callum now into 14th place, Brendan Hartley, Charles Leclerc, Lance Stroll, Sergei Sorokin, Marcus Ericsson, and Stoffel Van Dorn. That is the running order at the moment, and you've got Max Verstappen trying to get past Nico Hulkenberg, and he makes the move stick. PK Callum making huge progress. He's now already up into 13th place, and it's only the second lap of the race. What a start. And here we go with Max Verstappen. Great battle between him and Hulkenberg. How on earth are they going to keep it behind? Oh my goodness me. What a phenomenal start to the race. What a phenomenal start. This is, this is the stuff that you live for. It was a fantastic race in it was a fantastic race in Mexico last time out. A great four-way battle for the uh, race lead and eventual race win. PK Callum battling with Fernando Alonso. And Callum up into 12th. He is a man on a mission today. Remember, he only, if Vettel wins, Callum only needs to finish fourth in order to take the title. Right, can we fast the the race so far? 111.92. One. Let's run. Let's go with Vettel for now. Perez and Grosjean, a great battle between them for ninth place, which may play to the advantage of PK Callum. Very strong, very consistent season so far. And then we've got. I mean, PK Callum is on the medium compound, and he's at, we're estimating that'll take that'll go through at least 20 laps. But given how good his tire management is, he's already up into 11th place. He's not going to last very long on those tires at this rate. But you've got everyone else ahead of him on softs and super softs as we head round Young Cow, heading round on to the main straight. DRS will be enabled which means Ricardo could have the opportunity to overtake Vettel heading into the, the center S and then into Curva du Sol. Joey Allen, fastest lap of the race as I say that. And then we go with Ricardo going into the center S. He's almost there, but he's not going to make the move stick. He's on the inside though. He's going to be right alongside him. How amazing is this battle? And somehow, Vettel is managing to keep ahead, but Ricardo, I think he's got it. No, he doesn't. They are literally side by side. How on earth are they maintaining this? And look at this. Ricardo still practically alongside him. And I think he makes the move stick. And that's a huge spin for Raikkonen. Huge spin for Raikkonen. And that puts Joey into third, PK Callum now into the point, and Raikkonen is just plummeting down the field. Plummeting down. Where on earth has it all gone wrong for him? PK Callum, as I say that, is now into seventh place. There's Raikkonen there, nowhere to be seen. Absolute disaster for Raikkonen. Deja vu of Mexico. He was 19. 
and somehow managed to pull into the points after a very stellar drive. Joey is already in third place on the same tyre compound as P.K. Callum, interestingly, and Hulkenberg is out of the race! What a shame for Hulkenberg! A strong qualifying performance. And there we go, he's out! Rotten better luck for Hulkenberg. Meanwhile, up ahead, a great three-way battle, Ricardo Vettel and Joey Allen for the race lead. And we've got PK Callum storming through the field. He's already up into sixth, and it's only lap five. So let's go with him right now. He's got Ocon right in front of him. He's going to be within DRS range, meaning he may just steal fifth place. Joey Allen with a battle between himself and Vettel for second place. DRS open for Callum, meanwhile. He goes for the inside line, makes the move stick, and he makes it look easy. P.K. Callum into the top five. While up ahead, Joey Allen has just taken second place from Sebastian Vettel, and now he's hunting down Ricardo. What a start to the race so far. Real shame for Hulkenberg. He is just... He has not had any luck at all. And there we go, that's him. He's, he's gone, he's out. That is a real shame. And PK Callum still battling with Ocon. And still managing to maintain fifth place. There's a great battle between the two. They're side by side. And while that's happening, Sainz and Perez are literally right behind them. The dirty air is going to cause havoc for Callum if he doesn't get past soon enough. And oh my word, he tries to go for the outside but doesn't make the move stick. This is a great battle between them. Remember, if, if things stay as they are, he's going to win the title. Callum's going to win the title and he storms through with these. Science wanting a piece of the action as well. Is he going to lose two places in succession? I believe he has. Indeed he has. P.K. Callum now storming ahead, pushing to chase down Max Verstappen for fourth place. We're on to lap seven. And it's not going to be too much longer before we have the first round of pit stops, in particular for those on the super soft compounds. They are going to definitely be on two-stop strategies as well as the soft compounds. Mediums, the only guys on the mediums, Joey and Callum, Mercedes teammates, as things stand, not only will the Drivers' Championship be decided, but also the Constructors' Championship will be decided today as well. This is a fantastic race. And we've got Joey starting to close in with every corner and every straight and every lap. 1.5 seconds between him and Ricardo, and still closing. And Perez ahead of signs now. He manages to take sixth place, but the battle is mainly up front for the championship. We've got Raikkonen starting to make some progress. 18th place now. Ericsson ahead of Stroll now. Ricardo now 1.2 seconds ahead of Joey Allen, who managed to get a brilliant race win in Mexico last time out, which has managed to push him more or less into contention for a podium finish in the championship. One point is in the gap starting to increase between Ricardo and Joey Allen now. Here we go. Rear view. Joey nowhere near DRS range at the moment. But consistency is key because 
And now, oh, we've got we've got another one out, and that is Magnuson. Magnuson out of the race now. Oh, what a shame. We've had two DNFs now. Hulkenberg, and now Magnuson. Real shame. Real shame for those guys. I mean, I mean, what happened with Magnuson's car? I mean, Mashman managed to get it up into second place. Pole position in qualifying after Joey's penalty, uh, grid penalty for illegal blocking, but somehow managed to pull out a race win. And Mashman, who's not here this weekend, Magnuson taking his place, managed to get a brilliant second place in the race last time out. And now Magnuson's car ain't going to be finishing the race at all. Almost a quarter of the way through the race already. PK Callum still hunting. And there's Magnuson's car there. PK Callum still hunting Verstappen down less than two and a half seconds between them now. Verstappen is on the faster tyre compound, which means he's going to have more grip, but the tyres are going to wear out quicker. Joey now less than a second. We've got DRS. He's not going to overtake Ricardo on this occasion, but he does close the gap quite significantly. Half a second is all that separates him and Ricardo for the race lead. Raikkonen making progress uh, at the back of the field now. He's now up into 15th place. But again, that's not going to mean much because it's all about the championship today. They may end up being wrapped up today, which would be a fantastic day at the office, not just for the Drivers' Championship in P.K. Callum's case, but for Mercedes as a whole with the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes only needs seven points, and right now, they have got beyond that number. 18 points for Joey, 10 points, 28 points. They've got quadruple the points that they need. Make that quintuple as Joey takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Brilliant pass on Daniel Ricciardo. Fantastic battle between the two for the race lead. But Ricardo's going to have DRS back at Joey Allen. Not going to be close enough to overtake Joey on this occasion. We've got PK Callum closing in on Max Verstappen. He's not going to be, he's not close enough to use DRS range as of yet. But within the next lap or so, he will definitely be close enough to do so. And who is going to make the first pit stop of the day? Only going to be an active time before we see the first round of pit stops. We've got, we've got uh, Grosjean and Raikkonen making progress. Yellow flag from sector two. Ocon starting to drop down the field. Raikkonen right now up into 13th place. But we've got PK Callum half a second behind Max Verstappen. He's going to be within DRS range. Everything has been turned up to the max. That means he's going to have DRS. He's going to be at his absolute fastest. He's going for the race. He goes for the overtake maneuver. Verstappen tries to block it. Callum having none of it. And PK now into fourth place. Which is, if a one, if Hamill, if Vettel wins the race, that's all Callum needs. Callum only needs fourth place to guarantee the title regardless. And Grosjean is the first man, alongside Leclerc, to come into the pits. What ties are they going to go on? They were on the super softs. Lance Stroll in the pits as well. And Grosjean on super softs. Leclerc back on super softs. And Lance Stroll also on super softs. It's definitely going to be a two-stop strategy today. A third of the way through the race. And now PK Callum hunting Vettel down. Just over five seconds between them. And even if Callum finished, I mean, even if this is just a brilliant push through the field from the back of the grid after a, after a pretty scary crash at the center S's, he is now up into fourth place. This is shades of what happened with Max Verstappen in Russia. 
where he started at Vice Grid and he managed to get, he was, he ended up leading at one point. We've got Joey starting to pull away. Joey starting to pull away now. Two seconds ahead of Ricardo, who's a further two seconds ahead of Vettel, who is a further five ahead of PK Callum. Raikkonen starting to make progress through the field as well now. So Rockin in the pits now. What time is he going to go on? And he goes on to the Super Softs as well. Another two stopper. Joey and Callum are going to go for one stop strategies. Which means they're going to need to minimize the damage done as far as the uh, tire wear is concerned. These guys have done very well so far this season, consistent throughout the season. It's going to be a brilliant climax to see who comes out on top today. And as it stands, both championships will be decided today. We're almost halfway through the race already. And Joey continuing to extend his lead over Daniel Ricciardo. In the new matter of time before we see some more pit stops shortly. With Sorokin, Grosjean. Leclerc and Stroll all have made their first stops of the day. Charles Leclerc ahead of Ocon. Ocon's going to need to come in soon. The tyres, he's been on those tyres 13 laps. 2.7 seconds between Joey and Ricardo now. This is a brilliant race so far. We're approaching half distance now, lap 15. Joey Allen first, Ricardo second, Vettel third, Callum fourth, Verstappen fifth, Perez sixth, Sainz seventh, Alonso eighth, Raikkonen ninth, Hartley tenth, Gasly eleventh, Ericsson, Van Dorn, Grosjean, Leclerc, Ocon, Stroll, and Sorokin. That is the running order at the moment. And we've got Sergio Perez. Heartbreak in Mexico for him last time out. Perez into the pit. He's managed to get those tyres to last 14 laps credit where it's due. He's going to be on to the mediums. Perez on a one-stopper. Now that's going to minimise the amount of damage done as far as his race position is concerned because everyone else in front of him, while yes, they are going to be on There we go. Uh, Ericsson onto the mediums now. He too is on a one stopper. Which means on paper they may have a chance of a strong points finish today. PK Callum, three seconds, well, actually two and a half, well, yeah, just under three seconds between him and Vettel for third place. Esteban Ocon. In the pits now, he's on to mediums. He's gonna be he's gonna be gonna get to and ah there we go. Nope, he's out. And PK Callum into second place. Ricardo and Vettel into the pits, meaning it's a Mercedes 1-2, which is which is absolute certainty that they are going to secure the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship today. But will Joey let Callum through to take the race win so he has a proper moment on not just the top step of the podium, but on top of the championship, as he has been pretty much throughout the entire season. All they need to do is just hold their nerve, keep calm, keep focused. We've got Alonso and Hartley into the pits as well. They too are on one stoppers. Because they were on the they were on the uh, softer compounds. In 16 laps. 
Max Verstappen into the pits now. No more doubt going for mediums. Ricardo, Callum, Joey, and Mashman in Mexico last time out had a great battle for the race lead. And Joey and Callum were squabbling over the race, over the race lead pretty much throughout the entire race until Joey and Mashman ended up with time penalties. Callum showing some unique sportsmanship, managing to get the managing to get the race won for Joey. Joey with the win, Mashman with second place, despite the time penalties. Just kind of managing to hold back the rest of the field. To the point where the, the time gap didn't even matter despite the time penalty. Joey men yet to make a stop. Joey and Callum. I mean, you can, def I mean, you can definitely feel how focused Callum is. At least he's closing the gap on Joey. Looks like he is. 7.4. Seconds. And with the way things stand in the championship, Joey, with him to, with the race lead, will take 25 points. Vettel will only get 12 points, 13 point difference, meaning that Joey will take second place in the championship as things stand at the moment. Seven point two seconds between them now. Ocon, first man of the day to be lapped as Joey starts making his way towards back markers. Going a little wide on that corner there. 180 miles an hour there. Breaking down to about 120. And over here down to just, just under 60. Tyres definitely holding up pretty well for him. Callum closing the gap. Less than seven seconds. And this traffic's not going to help him in anyway. This traffic is definitely not going to help him, but he will have DRS plus blue flags. He gets past Van Gogh without much trouble. There we go. The Joey comes in. And he goes onto the softs. Playing safe, mm -hmm. not risking going on to the super softs. Mm -hmm. Going for a two stopper as a result. Mm -hmm. Going on to the softs guarantees him that one stop. Mm -hmm. Ricardo starting to come. But nope, Joey keeping second place, losing the lead only to PK Callum. As it stands, PK is going to end up dropping behind Vettel, but he's not overly concerned about that. Carlos signs down in 10th now, he's having a great battle with Alonso. Reichen him back up into the points now. Claire getting ahead of Grosjean. And Joey 
look at how fast the, how much faster his tyres are. He is really going for it here. Callum got DRS on Ocon, one of the back markers, blue flags waving. Maintaining focus. And we are almost three quarters of the way through the race. And there we go. Ocon letting Callum through. There we go. 10.3 seconds between Callum and Joey now. Joey coming in. Oh, Joey just, just in. Is Callum coming in? No, he's not. Stays out. Wants to get onto the super salts. He needs to be pushing these tyres as far as he feels he can push them. And Joey, as I say that, sets the fastest lap of the race. 1.11.057. Trying to push the tyres for lap 25, but these back markers aren't exactly going to be helping his cause. But again, he's not going to be concerned. He only needs to be at he only needs to finish fourth. He only needs fourth to guarantee the title, regardless of where Vettel finishes. But I mean, with Vettel not being on the podium, that means he's not going to win the title. Vettel won't take the title fight to the final race of the season. There's a whole manner of stuff happening in the midfield. Gaz, we've got Grosjean coming in, Leclerc coming in, and Stroll coming in. Joey, another fastest lap of the race, 110, 976, first man to break into the 110s today. PK's laps are going to be a lot faster without a doubt into the final third of the race now. It's PK Callum. PK's lead just continues to diminish because of how long the tires are, but he is just going to keep pressing on. He's going to keep pressing on. Sirotkin still to come in for his second stop of the day. for the title up to this point but it's more or less a done deal now PK Callum is continuing to diminish over Joey Allen and now he decides to come in and stop bang on the line and Joey again with another fastest lap Callum does indeed go on to the Super Socks. He did well to get those tires to last as long as they did. Now all he needs to do is go full speed ahead and push for podium finish, maybe even the race win. And above all else, the Drivers' Championship. As far as, as, far as consistency is concerned, Mercedes team have been nothing but consistent always managing to finish in the points always managing to finish on the podium above all else always managing to deliver on the day pk right behind Vettel now He's gonna try and go on the inside and he makes the move stick there it is into third place and now to hunt Ricardo down. He's got one of the Williams. They get out of the way without much trouble. 
you just look at that Callum just storming away. You gotta bear in mind, Vettel's gonna have the DRS heading down the main straight into the center S's, but he's not gonna be close enough on this occasion to get past Callum. Six seconds between Joey and Ricardo. But the battle is all about the title. Callum starting to extend his lead, his, his gap over Vettel. He continues pressing onwards. Less than a second between him and Ricardo. But again, the question is, will Joey let Callum through to take the win? Or is he going to make Callum work for it? So here we go. Here comes Be Here comes Callum. He's going to have the DRS. Flaps wide open. Sweeps onto the inside. Fastest lap of the race. First man to break the 110 barrier, 109, 935, and he gets ahead of Ricardo with ease. But Ricardo not giving up without a fight. He's got DRS right back at Callum, but is not going to be able to overtake him on this occasion. Here we go into the final quarter of the race. going to be a Mercedes 1-2 here as it stands which will mean the titles in the bag for both the constructors and in Callum's case the driver's title as well. Callum starting to close the gap on Joey now. Callum's tyres are going to be faster and fresher at the same time. 8.7 now coming up for more back markers. Yeah, just decreasing by the moment. 8.5 now. He crosses the line. Go 8.5. Callum has had a really strong season. Formula 3 champion. Formula 2 champion. And now on the verge of being Formula 1 champion. 8.4 seconds between him and Joey now. And that gap starting to increase again. Looks like Joey started to turn up the wick. He's got back markers ahead of him which may cause havoc. And as a result it does indeed cause havoc as Callum starting to close the gap again. Heading into lap 29 of 36. But he doesn't need to worry about that. There we go. But he didn't have much trouble. Eight seconds now between Callum and Joey. Through the center S's once again. More back markers approaching. The gap's starting to increase between him and Callum once again. Vettel, they've all done all they can as far as the championship's concerned. But they may just have to accept that it's just not going to be their year. They may, they're going to have to wait another season. More back markers. It's pretty much every, it's lapped everyone up to Charles Leclerc, who's just been lapped, and we've got Romain Grosjean ahead. 7.7 .7 now between Callum and Joey. The gap is closing. What an amazing moment it's going to be when you see the Mercedes drivers winning both titles today. Should they manage to finish? 7.3 seconds now. Gap may be decreasing between Callum and Joey, but it's increasing between them and Ricardo all the time. And crucially, Increasing between them and better. 
if there were ever a more consistent season. If there were ever a more consistent season other than this, I am yet to find it. Apart from the 1988 season with that dominant McLaren combination of Senna and Frost before their intense rivalry began to intensify. Joey lapping more back markers now. He's lapped everyone up to 10th now. Raikkonen up into 6th now. But it's not going to mean much. Because Ricardo and Verstappen are going to outscore Ferrari overall. 6.1 seconds between Joey and Callum now. to lap 31 now, Ham Alonso signs the great battle for 8th place, but again we are more concerned about what's happening at the front in the hunt for the title. 5.5 seconds, Callum is closing, he's got more back markers ahead of him, which he won't have too much difficulty getting past. That slows down. We're going to need to do the same. Oh, and they almost touch. Rosan does indeed let Callum through. Less than five seconds is the gap between Joey and PK Callum. I mentioned in Mexico that they have been good friends. For a number of years, even as early as their karting days. But they've been rivals ever since they joined the ranks at practically the same time. The ranks of the Formula Divisions, Formula 3, Formula 2, now here, Formula 1. PK Callum on the verge of making history here by becoming the first ever looking to win the Formula 1 world title in their season. And Brendan Hartley letting Callum pass without much trouble. 4.6, there's five laps to go. 4.4, the gap is closing. So here we go. Point three. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Every every lap, every straight, every corner, every lap, that gap is closing. Joy will be made perfectly aware of what's at stake here. But I think what's happening is they're just going to focus on getting a formation finish. Callum is just four seconds behind Joey. There he is, just coming into shot. He sees his teammate ahead of him. 4 laps to go. The gap is now less than four seconds. Callum continuing to push forward in his hunts for the race win. Yeah, it would be such an amazing feeling to be able to take the race win alongside the championship. He's definitely, get, he's more or less guaranteed the championship today, but can he get the race win? To do that, he's going to need to hunt Joey down. And hunting, he does 3.5 seconds. And the gap is closing all the time. 3 laps to go now, and it's pretty much business as usual, Joey pushing for his 5th, his, his 4th win in 5 races, the only race he didn't win. The only race 
He didn't win in that streak. It was the Japanese Grand Prix. That was won by Vettel. Which guaranteed which gave him a huge bit of hope. But it wasn't to be. 2.5 seconds now. And that gap continuing to close. Two laps left. Is Callum going to get the race win or is he going to settle for second place? Coming through the center S's now. Been business as usual. I mean, if I was, I mean, driver of the day got to be PK Callum, despite that huge crash in qualifying. He's managed to maintain his composure and push himself all the way up into second place. He's now less than two seconds behind his teammate. Joey will no doubt see him in his rear view mirrors any moment now. 1.5 seconds now. 1.4, that gap is closing. Callum's saying to himself, I'm not settling for anything less than the win today. The championship is great, but I want that race win as well. 1.3 seconds between him and Joey now. 1.2, he's not gonna get DRS on this occasion, but he may just get him out of the curve of Dussol. 1.1 seconds, here we go. This is going to be an exciting battle. The last lap of the race. Callum now less than a second behind Joey, which means he's going to be within DRS range. Eight tenths now. That gap is closing. DRS is enabled. Is PK Callum going to get the race lead on the last lap? Shades of what happened with Raikkonen back in Japan 2005 where Raikkonen started 17th and got all the way to the race win after overtaking on the last lap. Half a second now. And Joey caught up in traffic, but so's Callum. But Callum not having much trouble. Here we go. Coming up to the, coming up for the last sequence of corners before heading up to Young Cow. He's right behind him. Joey can see him. Callum can see him. Half a second. This is going to be a very tight finish between these two. But regardless of what happens, it's going to be a phenomenal one two finish. And it's done it! PK Callum has just taken the win on the last corner. And that race win guarantees he is the first ever rookie to win the Formula One World Championship. Absolutely brilliant. The smiles say it all. That is without a doubt the sweetest champagne that PK Callum has ever tasted. Winning the race, literally on the last corner, to take the title. And there it is. Still everything to play for as far as, sec as far as second and third in the Drivers' Championship is concerned. And the top three in the Constructors is more or less decided as well. What a fantastic race! And until the next one in Abu Dhabi, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you again next time.